hey everyone welcome back to another tutorial and thank you so much for clicking if you're new here kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime we have a new upload you'll get notified for the returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my content thank you for the shares thank you for the likes and sweet comments and today we are going to learn how to crochet this beautiful chunky beanie hat it's a very simple pattern that even beginners can work with and it has a very big brim that you can fold twice or just once like this i hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial to the end please give it a like share and leave a comment in the comment section so let's get started we are going to use a chunky yarn this is seal a kenyan brand it's three ply and 100 percent acrylic i'll need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project a pair of scissors a yarn needle and a tape measure so to start make a slip knot and we are going to make a foundation chain measuring 14 inches this uh, foundation chain can be longer than that or shorter depending on how big your brim should be so i'm going to make chains enough to measure 14 inches and then i'll come back and show you the next step I have my foundation chain ready it's measuring 14 inches i made a total of 60 chains just to confirm yeah it's 14 inches the next step we are going to skip the first chain from the hook and go into the next with a half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next a half double crochet and we are going to make half double crochets all the way to the end until you have six chains remaining so when you're approaching the end leave six chains okay so i have six chains remaining we are going to work a single crochet in each chain to the end So you switch from half double crochet and start making single crochet in the last six chains. And chain one, turn your work to begin a new row. And we are going to work in the back loop. So in this uh, last single crochets, now we start with making single crochets in the back loop. For the first three uh, for the first six stitches so this is two three four five and six and switch to making half double crochet in the remaining stitches all the way to the end so yarn over going to the next uh, stitch back loop make a half double crochet into the next a half double crochet and continue making half double crochet in the back loop all the way to the end of this row okay so we've come to the end of row two uh, doing the last stitch i'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in both loops and not in the back loop only so this helps your your beanie to be firm on the edges so chain one and turn your work and you're going to start making half double crochets in the back loop only until we get to where we have six stitches of single crochet so half double crochet in each and every stitch in the back loop and I'll meet you 
at this point okay so um at this point where we have six single crochets and we're going to work single crochets in the back loop in each stitch one single crochet back loop to the end when you get to the last stitch insert your hook in both loops and make the last single crochet then chain one and turn your work and repeat making single crochet in each and every stitch for the first six stitches in the back loop and you are going to repeat this pattern until we get the size of our bean hat so i'm making a size small these are the standard measurements that i use so for the adult uh, size small it measures between uh, 21 and 22 inches head circumference uh, so this is the head circumference for each uh, for different age groups so you can make this same um, uh, bean hat for different sizes so these are the measurements right here and we are making this size so i'll be making 38 rows in total so once you have one two three four five six six single crochets you switch into making half double crochet in the back loop all the way to the end and repeat the pattern until you get the size you're making so i'll be making 38 uh, rows that when stretched they give a head circumference of between 21 and 22 inches so you can uh, use your measurements if you making one for yourself just measure around your head and use that measurement to achieve the size so i'll meet you when i have the 38 uh, rows to show you the next step okay almost at the end of my last row row 38 we're going to make the last stitch in both loops and now the next step chain one and bring the other end and align them together now we're going to join using a slip stitch and we insert in the first stitch insert your hook in both loops and on the other side first stitch both loops yarn over and pull through to make a slip stitch like that and in the next we're going to insert our hook in the back loop on this first side the side we were working and on the other side we insert our hook in both loops like that grab yarn and pull through to make a slip stitch on this side insert your hook in the back loop only on the other side both loops grab yarn pull through to make a slip stitch in the next stitch back loop on this side and on the other side both loops grab yarn pull through to make a slip stitch and we are going to repeat this all the way to the end so the next one and on the other side and you make sure that your stitches are lined together on both sides so that you don't miss any stitch okay so keep on making slip stitches on both sides until you get to the last one so i'll meet you at this point almost at the end i have three stitches remaining and i'm going to work slip stitches on both sides to the end in this last stitch i will insert my hook in both loops and both loops on this 
the other side grab yarn and pull through and then we are going to chain one first time pull a big tail that you're going to use to close this space and cut your yarn Using the yarn needle, insert your thread right there and pass it through every row around. And then we are going to pull this and tighten, make a knot at the end, just to make sure that you secure it so nicely. Okay, and then we are going to pass this. Uh, tail to the right side so just right here now I'll uh, turn the beanie hat to the right side so that I can make a, a nice finish on top here okay so I just pass my needle on top of these uh, loops right here several times to make sure that I close this uh, space nicely. Okay, so the space is well secured and I'm going to cut this right there and that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial up to this point. Please give it a like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And... Uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.